Good morning guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I will be vlogging my day, my morning. I'm gonna get my nails done because it's well needed. It's been way too long. But I will be bringing you guys along with baby and me. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And sorry, my morning voice is a little rusty, but <laughs> yes, I will be taking you guys along today. So I hope you guys enjoy. She has already woken up. She woke up at like 5 o'clock, 5, 6. After that, I put her in the rocker to give me like some time. And we'll see how long she lasts in here. Say buenos dias. Look at all that hair. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Kiss. Say hi. Nope. Too serious? It's closing. Oh. <laughs> no? All right. I'm gonna pick you up, all right? So we are changed, and then we are gonna feed. Look, sheesh, look at that. Oh, just kidding. We're having wardrobe malfunction. You love the camera. She was about to be fussy, and then she seen it open. She's like, mm, ready for my take. Say hi. Say hi. Look, you follow it, huh? Look. <laughs> A boo. <laughs> all right all right so i just pumped also i made sure to pump before i go so then i have like two bottles ready for her which she only drinks about like four ounces so i'm gonna put some into that one and then just call it a day and i'll have two bottles for her she does feed on demand which i think helps a lot but i literally just give her as we go if she wakes up hungry i give it to her if she cries give it to her anything bottle is there oh diaper bag is ready and then this is where i carry my pumps i have some mom cozy pumps for next feeding and this is where I put the extras. I had to stop by Jack in the Box and get my ice coffee. We made it here and I think she's asleep. Oh, just kidding. She just woke up. She loves staring at the little giraffe. Hi, Mama. It's we're here. <laughs> she loves the camera. So my nails are done. I'm literally in love. Yes, fall colors because I love nudes. I love browns. Don't come for me, please. But... Look at this. Ah, I'm in love. Thank you, Randy. Love them. Uh, we are here. My brother invited me to eat. So we are at our favorite place, Olive the Garden. And if you hear the noise, it's because I'm pumping. Literally pump on the go. It's amazing. I only pump like whenever my boobs are hard. I don't have like a set schedule anymore. I just have enough for her when I know she's going to eat. I at least have two bottles ready. I've been pumping for about like... 15 minutes which was a drive here so we'll see you guys and she fell asleep so here's the aftermath i made about like this is like four another four and then like one and a half two so like eight ounce ten ounces oh my goodness but yes this is for her next two feedings one and a half or so feedings and then i have a little leftover just in case and then i just throw it in the bag hello She's just, oh you're tired of me with my twin apparently Show. You can't see. <laughs> guys, I swear we don't plan this, but every time he wears them, I wear them. Second but time. That's your problem for buying them for me. You got the same jeans. Okay, but you, why you gotta wear them when I want to wear them? We're not yeah. twins. <laughs> Apparently we are. So we for sure get the Alfredo vote. If you don't get this, get this. It goes so good with breadsticks. Yummy. Soup. <laughs> And then of course, yeah, okay. And then this is all by himself. Oh, She's talking. Got chicken Alfredo shared because I never finished my literally gone. Look at that, guys. Better get Between more. Us two. We're getting more. Oh, then you get free refills? Mm -mm -mm -mm. For this? Yeah. You didn't know? Oh, game over. <laughs> We're finally home. Mister, of course, runs to get his girl. Wait, is she asleep? <gasps> Turn around. <gasps> Who is it, my little gorda? <gasps> Hi, my little gorda. Emily. Emily. <laughs> Ready for a shower, mama? Look at her hair. <laughs> no, she said no, guys. She said no. Holy cold. <laughs> like, I take it back. <laughs> Her little setup for after, it's her little under onesie, her socks, and then her over onesie, <laughs> and then the supplies, hairbrush, because her hair gets crazy. <gasps> you ready? 
So she was a little fussy after which we didn't record, but But she usually she's usually never like that. She's not I feel like she's teething, maybe that's why. Maybe. Because today she was so fussy in the morning and now again. Dude, she looks like photoshopped. <laughs> Why does your skin look that good? What's your skincare routine? Share with us. <laughs> but anyway, this is... <laughs> she's like, you guys are ruining my bedtime. Her bedtime literally is the bottle. And then I turn the hatch on. Literally just... You turn it on. Turn the night light on. You guys, it is almost 8. Her bedtime is between 7 and like 8-ish. So right now she should be good. All right, say night night, time to me me. Yes, she's asleep. And she will not be up till like maybe three, four in the morning, if not five in the morning. So baby's asleep and I am pumping. I usually don't do these, I use the Spectra pumps. But I feel like these, I get more out of it and more fits because I usually use like the four. And the other thing holds like six and six. I'm not too sure, but this one holds way more. So it is 8:10, my last pump of the night, and then I wake up. And I pump again like at 3 or 4 in the morning. But sorry if it's loud. You could hear these bad boys. Make sure to hydrate later. Drink the water. I'm gonna wash bottles and then get some ready for the night pump and the morning pump. Welcome to our bottle corner. Literally, look at this. Perfect. It's like a little organizer and then I get to dry every day. I don't know where it's all at. Where to go? But I literally live by these two. I had to take this bottle. This bottle was in the fridge. So, I don't know. I didn't use it. So now I'm going to divide them into little baggies and then put them in the freezer. And put them all away. Lay them flat. And then here's the stash. Notice that? That was like really yellow. And I think that's when I was sick. That's the crazy part. Me and her were sick. And that's when I pumped. <gasps> It's crazy. So this is what came out of my pump. This one will go upstairs with me just in case she wakes up. I'll give her this. And this one I'll keep in the fridge. Because I know she won't drink it. Because I wake up like at 3-ish to pump anyway. And that pump will definitely go for her next feeding or if she wakes up around that time. But store and eat. So I store this one here, put the time, the date. And then these are all like other ones that I saved. Just in case the day I don't produce enough, I just go back and I don't have to like go through the freezer. I just go through the fridge and I warm it up for her. It makes it easier and I label it like the time, the day, and then do like p.m., p.m. or a.m., whichever one. But this is so helpful so I don't have to go to the freezer, melt that, wait for that. And I just store these like four days, three days it's in here. And then um, just put it away, freeze, and then put another stash. So I don't think I really explained myself for the um, the milk that I store in the fridge. So for the AM, PM, so like AM, I usually do like around 4 AM or 5 AM around there to like 12 to noonish, and then I'll put them in one. And then PM, I'll do like later in the afternoon, which just depends on the day. Cause I heard there's like, for nighttime you produce melatonin. So I try to like put those at night. So if it's a night feeding, I'll give her a PM. If it's a morning feeding, I'll give her AM for like whenever it's used again. What that helps you guys are like grouping them and it's like, so you don't have to go through your freezer sash, defrost, and then warm up and that whole process. So really hope that helped. So then today, like you guys know, finally had time to get my nails done. Took baby girl with me. I was getting anxiety, like what's gonna happen? What am I gonna do if she freaks out? Or like she's crying in public and it's just so much going on. But. But I make sure, because I get this question a lot, like, how do you do it? How do you drive? I just put a camera. Um, I literally make sure she's fed and changed. Literally, as soon as I feed her, change her, we go. I make sure to be ready. So if she cries and has a little fuss, like, I don't really make a big deal out of it. But I know if she's, like, hysterically crying, then I pull over and make sure she's okay. Thankfully, my friends today, when I got my nails done, Marlene was there. I didn't know that we were gonna, she was going to be there. Thank God, because if it wasn't for her, I would have probably left. <laughs> But yeah, Marlene helped me a lot. She was like taking care of the baby while Randy did my nails. And Randy was like, girl, like no rush. Like we understand and thankfully, cause the baby girl was like hysterically crying as soon as I got there, like 10 minutes in, like nonstop. She like never cries or throws a fit, which is like why I don't really mind going out with her. Cause if she like cries, I know it's cause if she's hungry or diaper change and it's fixable. I do get anxiety when I go out with her, but I make sure I'm prepared to have everything for her. So for breastfeeding, I do not latch. I've 
latched like a few times and then after a month like she did not want to latch at all which i kind of gave up <laughs> not that i gave up but it's like i don't really need that to bond with her i bond with her in different ways which is how i see it i mean it does feel good don't get me wrong but i don't need it pink schedule so i changed it a lot i only pump on demand probably pump like six times in the 24 hours so every four hours or so um because every pump i get at least like eight to ten ounces which she's only eating about four ounces per feeding so if i feed her four ounces and then i have like the rough the leftover the next feeding because she eats like every two three four hours it's like always changing and i think that's what helps her sleep good at night like throughout the day she just like feeds on demand she like hungry i give her a bottle she doesn't finish it i save it because she's always eating like back to back she doesn't take like over four hours between a feeding i did have a set schedule at the beginning as soon as she was born two hours after i gave birth they put me on the pumps on high i was so scared i felt like my nipples were gonna fall off they told me every three hours so from that day when i gave birth i was pumping every three hours when she was around two weeks i got mastitis because i was overproducing it was really hard to like get it all out um so i slowed down my pumping so i was pumping every three hours for 20 minutes so at the hospital that's what they told me and i kept at it and i think i was like supposed to slow down so then i changed my schedule every two hours i was doing 10 minutes uh so i wouldn't produce as much and then i started getting used to that schedule every two hours and then so little by little then i went back to three hours every three hours and then i was just doing 10 minutes those three hours and now it's just like as she goes literally my mom was like why are you pumping so much that i should only pump when she's hungry so my boobs only make as much as she wants and I'm not overproducing. Um, she's like, the freezer stash is just extra. She like, don't overwork yourself. So I've been doing just that and thankfully it's worked out and I always have like leftovers. So I feel like when she does want more, she goes up, then I'll just put more and get out more out of it. I am sure to stay hydrated all day. So arm air, water, just stay hydrated all day. Just be uh, That has helped so much. I feel like if you're not pumping you know obviously everyone's different and i i produce a lot thank god thank um it's not for everybody not everyone can so don't like beat yourself up for it you're not a bad mom you're not anything horrible it just doesn't work out you know you can't do much about it and the more you stress it the like the less you produce and at the beginning i was stressing that i wasn't gonna make enough and that did like trigger it a little bit but after a while we got, got the hang of it so I do a formula feed every once in a while. So when she was born, and they give her right to the NICU. NICU had her on a three-hour schedule. Literally, probably what has helped us in her sleeping literally from day one, three hours. They did give her formula. So I wanted to keep the formula going. It's like these little bottles. They're Emphamil or Similac. And they're already pre-made. We've been giving that for day one. We haven't given it to her in like probably over a month. She hasn't needed it because we're good with breast milk. I do want to like give it to her every once in a while. So when there's no more breast milk, she's used to it and it doesn't like hit her hard. We primarily use breast milk, which is like while I can, I'm going to do it as long as I can. Nick, you had her on that three hour schedule. Once we were home, we kept her on that three hour schedule. It was just like a constant like just three hours and then change her sleep. It was insane how she just kept that schedule. I know one weekend we went out for a family trip. After that trip, it just wasn't the same. I don't know if it was a trip growth spurt or something there was just a lot of people around so she was like waking up and i think that helped because in the day she was awake and then after that trip i noticed we got back and she was like cluster feeding she was like eating a lot throughout the day she wouldn't sleep and i was so so worried like the first two days i was like so stressed but so after a while she would just feed on demand and i was like i like this schedule because then at night she would just sleep for most of the night so throughout the day she would take small nap and then uh feed she was feeding a lot throughout the day and then it was just like nighttime she it would come like sick like she just knows when it's dark our room doesn't have curtains so it's sun goes down you can see sun goes up you could see let's say six weeks around there is when i noticed she was like way more alert her eyes open like any noise she would follow with her eyes after that i bought her a little play mat she would just stare at the play mat and start like in that last nap where i know it's like that stretch before it's like nighttime um i just try to keep her awake keep her entertained play with her do playtime. so her routine bedtime is around 7 p.m to 9 p.m 
And around that time, just get her ready for bed, turn the hatch on, lights out, warm bottle, changer, bathe her if she needs. And it's like she just knows it's dark and it's time for bed. But yes, having that like bedtime routine, it's every day. Like we don't change anything. So I know she's like, this means sleep, this, this, and that, and I'm going to sleep. She doesn't wake up till around, I'm gonna say, she was waking up around like 4 a.m. Um, I know there's like a lot going on. Like, oh, you have to wake her feeder, this, this, and that. But we checked in with Dr. Wade is good, which is what everyone's concerned with. You know, the Hispanic mom theories. My mom's always been like, no, don't wake her up. If she's hungry, she will cry. She's like, I did that with you guys and you guys are fine. Yes, for her, I literally just feed on demand. It's been working really great for us. Um, but always like double check with your doctors and have second opinions on it and hopefully it works for you guys every baby is different don't forget that at the end of the day so don't be too hard on yourselves i'm so glad she's been such a good baby been on a good routine and hopefully it stays for all because i know they go through like gross spurts and it changes here and there but i'm gonna try our best to just keep it going for as long as we can yes we do co-sleep which has been a great help and it works for us thankfully uh hopefully my advice helps and works if not you guys obviously i'm not an expert <laughs> first time mom here thankfully i found all the things that work for us if not like i'll just do my research ask around and see what could work so i think that is it for this video i think i've hit some good points <laughs> some of the questions you guys asked um i try to answer them throughout the video any other questions please feel free to let me know i try to respond to you guys as much as i can i love um helping you guys out i always get messages like my goodness thank you you've been such a great help this has worked and it just feels so good reading them i feel better i don't feel like as annoying because that's all i post but i think it's just like trial and error as you go you'll find out what does work and they are still babies there's so much to learn there's so much to do yeah um let me know what else you guys want to see in videos i know this one was mainly me a day of me and baby um but Mark. I'll make Marcus do a video next time. <laughs> yes, I will be doing a giveaway. It is on my story. If you guys follow me on Instagram, it was on there. I will be giving away a few things that I found helpful and that are nice to have. Um, <laughs> so here's Mark. <laughs> I call them all like. My face is probably getting all red. <laughs> it is about to. So, yes, guys, I forced him to do the closing with me. <laughs> Get his face in really quick. Making my guest appearance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, anyway. He made his debut. No, you came out a little bit earlier in the video. My foot? So You came out a little bit, not your foot. Oh, with the baby. Yeah. So we'll be doing that little giveaway for mommies. It's just mommy stuff. So if you guys want to join, put in the comments. What are they putting in the comments? Um, their due date, no? Yeah. <laughs> so if you're a mommy, put how old your baby is. Um, boy or girl. Put it if there's a boy or girl. Because hmm. maybe I'll add stuff. We'll do two giveaways for boy moms and girl moms. Mm -hmm. So just put... How old your baby is, boy or girl, or your due date. Yeah, if you're pregnant at the moment. So yeah, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. What? what your day in the next? life? A day in life, This yeah. is your video. I'm just <laughs> showing, my, showing up a little bit. He's just here for the moral support. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Following me throughout the day. I really hope it helped. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see, what I didn't cover, what extra things you guys want me to talk about. That has worked for me and hopefully works for you guys. And please let me know. I like, I love hearing all you guys' feedback. Good or bad? Mostly the good. <laughs> but yes, thank you guys. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Make sure to... Comment, like, and subscribe. <laughs> and comment your... What we said earlier. Yeah, the if new day. The yeah, boy or girl. Winner, we're going to announce them in him or her in the next video. So, so stay tuned. So you want to look out for that too. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.